Foundations. I am um, here with you guys again for another painting tutorial and today we are going, sorry about like the lighting, I'm outside and no sun's coming in because there's a big cloud, um, but don't mind that. Um, we're doing another painting tutorial today. There's like kids playing outside so you're going to hear random screaming and cars going by, but I, it is what it is. My air conditioning went out and my kids are like, the weekend, my kids are home, my husband's home, so I can't go in my space that I usually go in because they're there, it's in the basement, and normally they'd be upstairs, so I'd be able to um, film, but that's okay. We're gonna work with what we get. Anyway, so today, long story short, I should say, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a turtle riding, or not a turtle riding, a rewind, on a little baby kitten riding a turtle. And you're asking, why in the world would you draw or paint, I should say? A turtle with a kitten on top. Well, at my job, one of the houses that I clean, the lady's granddaughter was home and she was so cute. She um, made me a picture. She colored me a picture. Like, I love kids. I mean, obviously, I have my own, so I don't even know why I did that. But, oh my gosh. Okay. So she made me this little, like, look at this. She drew me this. So then I, of course, I was like, well, um, what, you know, what is, I said, what's your favorite thing in the world? She goes, um, and then she couldn't think of anything. So then I was like, well, why don't you just tell me what your favorite animal is? And she says a turtle, which I found so particularly weird because I used to do home care nursing and the lady that I used to work for, she passed away and we became like very good friends. Um, she was really important to me. And you know, you just spend so much time with that person. You just, they become your friends, your family, they become everything to you. Anyway, um, ugh, I always cry every time I talk about her. Her favorite animal was a turtle. And I was just like, uh, something about that just like made me think, oh, Miss, Miss Margaret, I just like you so much. Anyway, sometimes, you know, you hear that and you think, I wonder if she like implanted that in that little girl's head. That sounds super creepy. Why did I say that? Um, anyway, uh, so isn't that the cutest thing ever? So I told her and then I said, she goes, oh, well, I love kittens too, by the way. My dad's allergic to kittens and we can't get a kitten. And I said, what if I paint you a turtle? And then I paint a kitten riding on top of the turtle. And then she was like, oh my gosh, yeah. She's only six years old. Just the cutest, cutest little thing ever. Um, so then I was like, oh, what's your favorite colors? And she said turquoise and um, turquoise and pink. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ombre um, turquoise into pink for the background. And then the turtle's just gonna be a green turtle, um, a couple different colors of green. And then um, we're gonna do the kitten. Um, I was thinking we would leave him white, to the kitten in white, uh, just because he doesn't like a white fuzzy kitten. Everybody likes a white fuzzy kitten. So I'm just sipping on my afternoon coffee. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, do that every time. I don't know, that reminds me of like when I was growing up, me and my like best friend Ashley from like junior high. My best friends in junior high. And we used to always, like every time we would take a sip of water of anything, we'd go, <laughs> just crack me up. Anyway, so these are the materials and the paint we'll be using today. Um, Liquitex Basics, Titanium White. Um, these are all Liquitex Basics, that's my favorite. I got some new paint, which is awesome. Um, Liquitex Basics, this is primary blue. I have all primary colors. Um, primary red and primary yellow, just because um, we're not gonna, well, we probably will use the black. Um, it's Mars black. So the reason I just chose primary colors to use this time is because um, I don't have, I mean, I, I like to just mix, like if I need a green or if I need, um, I usually just like mix it if I need a certain color. So I like to do that with primary colors, well, at least for this painting. I'm sure in the future we will use other things. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the background first and then we're gonna do the cat and the turtle. Um, so we gotta mix our, gosh darn it, my fingers are outside and they're probably gonna think I'm a freak. Uh, we need to mix our color. We need pink and we need a turquoise. Um, so we'll do the pink first because I want to do it from pink to turquoise. Um, okay, and then for the pink, you want to start with the white. Uh, and I like usually I do, I'm going to go with a light pink because I think that's kind of like a lighter. Um, and then work it like get it darker as I go down. Um, go into the turquoise or maybe I'll kind of just leave it one tone we'll see what happens um and you're going to want to have more white than red obviously so maybe like one to four um if you want it like a super light pink uh you know you kind of just have to experiment and see what works I kind of feel like all you know all paint is different um and then for brushes I probably should have mentioned this you're going to need water and you're going to need like paper towels to clean off your brushes uh, 
been sitting in here for a while. I probably shouldn't do that because I know it ruins your brushes when you're just leaving sitting in water. Um, the lighting's really bad, so don't mind me looking terrible. Um, so funny, when I did my hair like this, my son goes, oh, I don't like your hair today. He's like, you need to put flowers in it. <laughs> I was like, thanks. He's only six. I'm like, thanks for the advice. Thanks for the fashion advice. So this is a, um, what is this, number eight, number 10? What is this? Number eight, um, Filbert. I don't know what brand this is, so don't ask me. And then I have my two trusty, uh, what are these? Simply Simmons. This is the angled um, three eighths. I always use these. Pretty much every tutorial you'll probably see me using these. I need to get new ones because I kind of jack them up. Obviously, you can see that. <laughs> and then Simply Simmons. This is a zero. Um, well, round. Oh no, I don't want her picture to disappear. All right. So um, when you're mixing your color, don't like. I mean, you can do that if you want. Sometimes that kind of works better for me. Um, but you know, you're supposed to like pull, so. I guess that, you know, I guess it just depends on what your preference is. A lot of people will, like use a palette knife. Um, I'm not that fancy. I do have palette knives, but like I can just mix it with, you know, and I'm just making a big old mess, which you're, that's like exactly what you're not supposed to do. <laughs> I try to make this as short and sweet as possible because I'm doing this on my phone and it's going to run out of, um, it'll run out of space. All right. So this is kind of like cotton candy pink color we're looking for. Um, I know I made a big old mess, but don't worry about that. So I pre-drew out my turtle and my, is it gonna rain? Um, I have severe ADD, so don't mind me if I do stuff like that. <laughs> okay, so I, I pre-drew out my kitten and my turtle. You can't see it on camera, but um, the reason I did that is just to like save on time. So normally I would just paint the whole canvas, um, but I'm just gonna go around the outline of this little guy. Alrighty, so um, you don't necessarily have to do this. It's just that I, you know, I would just recommend just painting the whole thing and then uh, drawing, if you're following this tutorial, just paint across the whole canvas, okay? Instead of doing what I'm doing, I'm just trying to keep this short and sweet so I can actually get through the whole video without speeding it up and it can be in real time. Um, so if you're watching this and wanting to follow along, just, um, and we can touch this up too as we go, so you don't have to worry about it too much if you kind of read. No. Okay, so we're gonna do the top probably to about here. So don't do what I did. <laughs> that girl's at ADD. Um, and we're gonna try to ombre it into the um, into the turquoise. So oh yeah, I don't know if I said I was yeah. I'm making this for that little girl who gave me that picture. I'm pretty sure I said that though. All right, so yeah, we're gonna go down to about here with the color. Um, you know, I didn't ask her if she liked hot pink or what her favorite was, but you know. This we'll find out. Um, and I'll probably just paint the sides of the canvas black. Because that's, you know, status quo, I guess. I don't like try to fill it in with whatever color. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just, I don't know. We'll do it black later. Do that off camera. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that little girl is just like the cutest little thing ever. Oh my gosh, the other night, I, um, my daughter and my husband were like forcing her out and they do it all the time. They always like a rough house and I always, and my son too. And I always say, you know what? Somebody's going to get hurt one of these days. Somebody's going to get hurt one of these days. Sure enough, my daughter, I don't even know how it happened. She ended up hitting her, um, her like, uh, mouth on my son's leg and she busted her whole lip open and had to get like four stitches and it happened like really late. It was crazy. Anyway. So that's what we've been dealing with the last couple days, taking care of her and her stitches. Should I be back further? Probably should. Um, so that's been cool. We're just getting like the worst of the worst right now. It's like, makes you so, like, think about like all those people who don't, like, did I say my air conditioning went out? Yeah, anyway, my air conditioning's been out for like two weeks and the guy like couldn't come out for like ever because apparently everybody's air conditioning's breaking right now. And right now it's not that cold, but like a few days ago, it's like 90 degrees and we've been sleeping in our basement with our mattresses down there. Anyway, um, it's been really difficult because um, it's so freaking hot. Anyway, it makes you really think about those people who like never like have air conditioning, and it feels so grateful that you you know have ever actually like have ever actually you know have been blessed to to have that. I mean, it just makes you very grateful. I mean, and the kids like they love like all the time we've been spending together and down in the basement. I mean, I. 
I mean, we don't have like separate rooms. We're like, I what I did is like I drug all our mattresses down to like our family room area in the basement, so it would be cooler. Um, and they've been loving it, but I'm like, I'm ready for my privacy back. <laughs> uh, but the guy doesn't come till next week on Thursday, and right now it is Saturday, so we have lots of days of waiting until that happens. Okay, so this guy, and um, then I'm gonna give you a little tip: like wipe your brush off before you rinse it. Hey, wrinkles look so bad out here. Um, not that anybody cares. And I like to keep two separate things of water, um, just so like you don't muddy your colors. So if you just keep putting all your brushes into the same water, not changing out the water or just using one water, your color is gonna get. See how just like I already rinsed this off and wiped it off, and look how like milky it made that water. Um, so now we're going to move on to the turquoise. Make a green, and we're gonna do one to one. One part yellow, one part, excuse me. One part yellow and one part blue to make a green. I don't know why I'm doing that weird noise. Anyway, yeah, it's been really interesting the last couple weeks here. Yeah, it just makes you feel so grateful for, you know, the, the stuff that you have. It really makes you think about that. Okay, um, it's pretty dark green. So I'm thinking I may want to lighten this up a little bit. One to one, maybe more like two to one. <laughs> Meaning two parts yellow, one part um, blue. But you can always add it as you go. Um, if it's not the exact right tone you want. So the more yellow you add, the more like lime greeny it's going to become. Um, the lighter green it'll be. And if you want it like super light, you can just add white. But since we're going to be mixing in, it's more like a grassy green, but that's okay. But since we're going to be mixing in, um, oh my god, my brush is getting kicked in this. Maybe I should be doing that with the knife. Um, since we're going to be mixing in, I didn't wipe my brush off. Don't do that. <laughs> I love how I don't use my own tips. That's awesome. Okay, so we have one part green what am i doing two parts two parts blue one part green one part uh four parts white so four parts white so like if let's say if it was like a, a circle like a pie you know if, i'm sure you understand what fractions but this might be helpful to some people so if you put out like let's say you put out like this much white um and you are going to like quarter that so it's four parts so you take one part of the quarter for the green two part you know half of it for the blue if you i'm sure you can figure out that, but I just thought maybe that would be helpful. So we have our white and we have our blue. I always start with the white first. Start with the white, then go to the blue. Let me see, what is it? Yeah, you want to start with the white, then do the blue, then add the green. Okay. So if we had like that much white, we'd add half the amount of the blue, and then we'd add even less green, half of the amount of the, um, the blue. And then if you want it lighter, you could just add white to make it lighter. Um, and I'm gonna have to change out my water soon because my, my colors are gonna start to muddy. And by muddy means like they will be really bright and vibrant. Um, and obviously we want that. We want it to be bright and vibrant. I don't know why I use so much white. I really didn't need that much. Um, what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to paint the green first and then I'll show you how to do like an ombre effect because we'll have to use white and then we're going to move it up. Okay. And like I said, if you're, if you're doing this, um, at home, just paint across the whole thing and don't draw out your, your characters beforehand. I'm going to go around them with a smaller brush because I just don't want to. I just don't want to mess them up. On in so light. I don't know why I'm thinking inside of this because I'm not going to leave it like that. Okay, so I'm going to switch to um, a smaller brush. I just did that again. Just so I don't have to, um, I'm going to switch to the Simply Simmons, the 3 brush. Um, just because I don't want to go over this guy. 
because I wanted to keep the time short, but I don't know if that's going to happen now. Where the heck did I put this guy's home? We're gonna want to like keep our brush stroke like this way, just so you don't like see how this is like all messed up. Um, you don't want to see the brush strokes like that. That's why you want to um, paint the whole thing instead of around, because then you end up getting like uneven brush strokes. But for me right now, it doesn't really matter that much because um, I'm gonna ombre it. Do like shot of my head? I should probably be paying attention to where I am putting this. Okay, so oh my god, I'm gonna back up a little. So just keep going around, painting. You're not gonna have to go around your guy because you're gonna be doing that second. You'll be waiting till your dries and then um, going over. And those kids are so loud, they should really not be. <laughs> Gonna look really blue. What the heck? Um, so just keep going around your little guy if you drew yours before, which you didn't. Okay. Oh, I know this looks really weird, but I accidentally went over his face. <laughs> so it is what it is. Sometimes accidents are not the accidents. So maybe he'll just excuse the motorcycle. Maybe he'll turn out better. My daughter is like just staring out the window at me and I told her she couldn't hang out. But she distracts me. It's like I'm trying to do a painting and then she's like all up in my face. And I'm like, I already feel awkward enough like making these videos. And if I like, am I just sticking my head in the way the whole time? I really hope I'm not. Um, it's taking me 25 minutes just to paint the canvas. Awesome. It's so cool. Probably pause this while I finish it. Okay, so now we're gonna do the ombre effect, and you're just gonna take your white and lighten your turquoise color, um, and then you're gonna make it lighter and lighter. And so I don't really want the color to go much past like maybe like here. Um, so just take some white on your brush, dip it in your turquoise, um, and then just kind of feather it in. And then so what's going to happen is the higher up you get, the lighter the color will get. Um, and you can kind of bring it down too and just sort of feather it into the other color, just so it doesn't, you know, you want it to be even. So we need more to place the color on that part. See how I'm kind of like bringing it down to feather it in? And then you're just going to keep getting lighter and lighter and then you're going to do the same on the pink. Yeah, I don't really want the color to go much more than like right there. Like I said, I hope I'm not in the way. I'm not using my regular camera, so I can't really see it myself. So it's kind of um, hard to figure out if I am. Um, I have a fly on me. Get up. Fly. Jeez. Honestly, painting outside is not ideal for me. Not that I mind it or anything, but it's not my favorite. So then I just kind of want to just keep going more and more white and not put any um, turquoise on my brush. And I'm going to feather it down. So just white. Try to keep it like even if possible. Like, so if it was like a line, even. And then push it down into the turquoise. And then if it's too, you know, if it's not dark enough, just go back into your turquoise and just kind of color it back up. So you get that kind of beautiful, like, gradient um, effect. Really pretty. Okay, so we're going to take that, obviously, rinse it out. I can't handle this. 
I might just start using paper freaking paper plates like everybody else because this is saran wrap. It ain't working for me. Next video, I'm just gonna use paper plate. I know it's wasteful, but I just I can't. I used to do that, but then I felt like I'm just wasting so much. Honestly, I felt like I was wasting and wasting and um you know if your napkin gets dirty just obviously you're gonna have to Right, I'm looking using all these paper towels and I'm complaining about waste. But I really don't like using I try to use like a rag before and I just swear that doesn't oh my god, this fly is like on my screen. Um it just doesn't work for me. I gotta hurry up because I know that my camera dies, like it won't do any more space. Okay. So for the pink, um I'm pick up some pink, grab some white, see how I did that? And then you're just gonna do the same thing. Because you want it to be like you know, you want it to kind of just melt into the pink. And since we already have that on there, you can kind of just this. You know, I haven't had any formal training. The only way I've learned to like do any of this is by either watching other people doing it or just figuring it out um, on my own. Uh, a lot of people are like, who do I like to watch? I love like that Angela Anderson and I really love, um, what's her name? Um, the Art Sherpa, she's awesome. I don't really like, watch too many more. I, I watched Ginger Cook that. I think that's Angela Anderson's mom. Anyway, she's very talented as well. You know what I love about um, that Ginger Cook? How she always, um, 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 ah, she always tells these like great stories while she's painting. Um, and, um, and then, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're getting a little bit of white right here, right here. So then when you're like your this starts getting rough to paint, um, you can take a spray bottle and spray it. Uh, but I really don't want to do that. <laughs> Plus all of my spray bottles have cleaning products in them. Um, and now we're going to do our turtle. As you can see, I kind of just outlined him in green um, right there because I glassed him. Um, I have to hurry up because I have to. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, you can use, after your painting dries, after this ombre paint dries, um, you can use a, uh, like, a pencil, well, I wouldn't recommend pencil, um, like a chalk to draw the outline of this, uh, or you could use a watercolor pencil. Um, I'm just going to do mine in paint, and feel free to just do yours in paint, too, if you want, if you're, a lot of, it's hard, you know, for a lot of people just to draw with the paint, so a lot of people draw whatever stuff they're doing with, like, pencil first, at least a, a rough outline of it. Um, but I'm going to uh, outline mine in black so you guys can see it. And two, um, we're going to do the outline in black anyway after we're done painting the whole thing in. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to start on the turtle just for the heck of it, just because that's our base. Um, so what you're going to want to do for the shell, you'll start on the shell first, is that you're going to want to do like a half circle. Um, or maybe almost like a mushroom top, and that's like weird. But... And I'm using the um, zero round for this part. Not sure I like using the zero round for this in the way. I think I am. Let me back up. Okay. Um, so let me tell you something about making lines with the brush. I don't have it. That's too too much uh wiggling too much. Um I'm gonna switch to just a regular flat brush. Um so when you're making a line, the 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 harder you press, um the wider the line's gonna be, but the lighter you are, the thinner the line will be. So it's all the pressure. If you put more pressure, the line will be thicker. If you put lighter pressure, the um the line will be thinner. I need some water with this. Uh so just a little tip. So maybe what I will show you on my I took the surrender box because I was driving me crazy. Um so like if you put a lot of pressure, your line's gonna be thick. But if you do I don't know if you guys can see that. If you do like really light pressure, like your line will be thinner. See what I mean? Okay, so I don't want a thick line. So I am going to do this as light as possible. Hopefully I'm not in the way. And this brush is a little bit fat for this, but that's okay. I can't do it with this one either. It's driving me crazy. Like if I do it this one, it's like all over the place. Well, that's okay. In the way. I feel like I'm always in the way. Like I keep saying like, am I in the way? Like you guys are gonna like answer and be like, yeah. It's really hard for me to paint like when it's up like this. I'm used to painting on my drafting table, which I got from somebody at my work. It's like the nicest thing. See how wiggly my line is? Ugh. It's like a nightmare. 
Um, but the more you like can have your hands steady, like set it down, the easier it is to keep your lines straight. So slow and steady wins the race, just like that turtle. You just gotta be slow and steady. See, so the more I can rest my hand on something, the straighter my lines can be. Like over here, my lines all crazy and wonky, but I mean, we can straighten that out. That's not a big deal. Um, so like I said, you're just going to do a half circle. See this guy? He's so cute. He's like the cutest little guy ever. I really like him. Um, so that's all we're going to do for that. We can do the outline of these two just so you can see where they are. Uh, we're going to do three little like bubbles, not bubbles, but yeah, I guess the half circles. We'll put one up here. Um, this is in my way. Put one up here and see the more you can rest your hand, the better that's going to be because then the straighter your line will be. And mine's all blue. Okay, so we're just outlining our turtle here. My phone keeps shutting off because I don't have enough space on it. Uh, and I keep deleting things and it still, still keeps, I'm gonna keep like a, not a lot of paint on your brush. Um, that was really thick. So we'll put one there. And we'll put another one like right here. Okay, so then we'll do his little head first. You're going to want to almost do like another half circle for his head. Okay. And this is like a really basic um, thing. Anybody can really paint this. Um, this actually would be really fun for like you and your kids to do together. Ooh, the for fun. I don't know why I decided like that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, I watched that um, Kimmy Herman movie, Kimmy's Big Adventure, and then the new, uh, the new one. Well, it's not new. It's like a year old now. But um, my son had never seen it, and we're gonna do his little eyes. So when you do the mouth, you wanna do like a little overlapping, uh, just so you have to mouth. Uh, he is obsessed with Kimmy Herman now, and like every time he laughs, he sounds like Kimmy Herman. He's like, ha ha ha. It reminds me of that little kid from like Overboard. If you guys have ever seen that, that movie with like Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. And like Goldie Hawn's character is like this really rich lady. Anyway, he, she ends up like falling overboard and then Kurt Russell like pretty much kidnaps her, which <laughs> sounds really bad. Um, and he like takes her to his like town and wherever the heck they are, you know, wherever they are out in the middle of nowhere. And he has like three boys and the youngest one sounds like Peter Herman. And for some reason, <laughs> like reminds me of my son. So we're doing the legs now. You want to almost do like little rectangles. Um, but when you get to the bottom here, you're going to want to curve it. Um, and you're going to want to make this front leg longer than the back leg. Am I in the way again? Sorry, if my head keeps getting in the way. You know, this is my second tutorial ever. And I'll just keep getting better and better as time goes on. Um, and we can fill in these little gaps here with our turquoise color. Uh, so now um, on our back leg, we're going to want to just outline from right here. All right, so um, like I said, when you guys are doing this, do yours in like chalk or like a watercolor pencil, just so, um, I don't know, the pencil can show through. And I don't think that's a good look. But if, if all you have is pencil, if all you have is regular graphite, just use that. Who cares? Or if you just want to do it in paint like this, then just do it in paint like this. Okay, so this is kind of awkward. It's funny because I was thinking, oh, this should take me about 10 minutes. Do this. No. <laughs> this is not, it has not taken me 10 minutes. But, you know, you could get this done realistically in like probably 20 minutes or less if you're like, you know, faster painter than me, but I am like the slowest painter. You do everything else incredibly fast as for painting. The one thing I wish I did faster is super slow. Okay, so we got our turtle done. Um, and we'll outline our other guy after. So for the turtle, um, I mixed a, like a light, lighter, almost like a lime green color. Uh, 
So we're just gonna fill him in. I'm gonna keep these. I'm gonna do him light green and then I'm gonna do these um, little thingies here. A, a darker green, I think. I'm sure most people would probably do it the opposite, but I think, I think that's how I wanna do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. My brush is super wet, so it looks really transparent right now. And where I went with that turquoise, it's gonna darken the color. That's okay. Okay, okay. We're just gonna fill in his little tiny face right now. Oh, he's so cute. He's cute. And I'm just using a, this is like a flat brush. It's a flat angled brush. It's pretty much like that Simply Simmons one, but I don't know why I'm using this one. I just, yeah. <laughs> Okay, oh my gosh, look at how cute he is. We'll just fill him in. Like you're coloring, like you're coloring. And then you can fix the lines if you like color outside the lines, which I do all the time. Um, just fold them right back over them. Boy, doesn't he look patchy? Woof. Let's see this brush. Like a really stiff brush. Sometimes when you have a really stiff brush, it like scrapes the paint away, leaving it on there. Which obviously you want to leave it on there. Okay. Not that guy. Where's my other guy? Here he is. Oh, there's another one bites the dust. I have a feeling that this is gonna die soon. Or not die, but run out of juice. Kind of turned out more of a grass green than a lime green. Um, and you might have to let that dry and go over it again. I guess this, I don't know. I, maybe I don't like Liquitex Basic that much. Just kidding. I like Liquitex Basic. A lot. So much. I'm just gonna fill him in completely except for these. We'll fill those in with um, a darker green. So I'm just gonna pause it and I'm gonna fill in the whole thing um, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I don't have much time. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is do this in two different parts um, because my phone doesn't have enough space. Uh, so I'm gonna have to upload it and then, so I'm making a really light pale green color and then I'm gonna make these guys. Um, and I switched my brush. You can really use whatever brush you want. I just felt like this kind of holds the pigment better. Anyway, um, so you know what I was thinking that I forgot, if you put titanium white with your color and just make sure you, um, if you're using cheaper paint like I am, it'll actually make your color, you know, um, have a better, better pigment. I think, I mean, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this in two parts, but I'll upload it as one. It's like pretty weird and muddy. Um, I'll upload it as one. Anyway, so we got this guy done. Uh, I think, yeah, I'll finish it tomorrow. So I'm gonna have different hair and makeup. <laughs> okay. So we're back. My phone kept dying. So I switched over to my, um, webcam here, the camera, which, whatever you want to call it. The lighting's not very good, but I am in the upstairs level of my house, not in my basement where I usually am, um, and we're going to finish this inside here. So um, I uh, fully like filled in the turtle, and I did this a little bit lighter color green. So I'm going to go over the turtle one more time, because I'm not very happy with his kind of catchy. So what do we're going to do? If we're gonna do one to one. Actually, we did two to one. So we're gonna do two to one, and I'm using a paper plate now because I could just cannot stand that chopping board. So we'll do two parts yellow, do one part blue, and what does that make? It makes green. Can you stop making my cat do that? She's making the cat meow. But she's totally jealous. She just wants to be in my movie. In my movie, I mean in my video. <laughs> um, so we are gonna mix up some more green. Who is that? 
And then we Eli's not here. And then I think that might be a little dark, but you know what? Maybe it'll give it a better um color. So we're just gonna go over him one more time. Get the patches out. My son said that the turtle looks sad. Um, if you keep wondering why, if you keep wondering, I'm just, I'm sure you guys are just wondering so bad why I keep looking down, I'm just kidding. Um, the reason I keep looking down is because I have, um, a monitor down here instead of up there, so, like, if you catch me doing that, instead of this, looking into your eyes, looking into your soul, um, that's what I'm doing, just making sure my head's not in the way, you know, all of that kind of stuff. My oh my what a wonderful day. Ha! I don't know what the heck I'm talking about, sorry. Let me tell you a story about my daughter. No! <laughs> no. I'm kidding. So we're just gonna go over this little fella to make sure his color is all even, even. He sure is a cute little sad turtle. I wish he was a little happier, but we'll make him a happy little turtle pretty soon. I need to get a car. What in the world? If you, uh, uh, girl, girl, she's trying to walk around freaking camera right now. I don't make me laugh. You touch I'm not trying to make you laugh. I'm actually mad. <laughs> I'm so angry. Oh. <laughs> a goat? Like one of those crazy goats that you watch those like videos? I don't. Those crazy goat videos? I watch those videos all the time. What are you talking about? You watch them with me. No. You're such a liar. You love and oh my gosh, my daughter just doesn't get anything. All she does all day long is watch videos. Okay, oh, yeah, you just watch Harry later on in her little cage. Do you know what I really love to do all day long? If I am gonna like watch TV or something, I love watching HGTV. I watch Carl Sanders for like five two hours. hours, five yeah, more like five hours. But I don't really, honestly, I guess I don't really. I have been watching a lot of TV lately. I've been able, for some reason, I usually can't like sit there that long to watch it, but lately I've been, I've been binge watching like all those like, I've been watching, like, what's that show called? Nailed It. I've been watching Nailed It. Love that on Netflix. And then I've been watching, um, America's, America's Got Talent. I've been watching that with Eric. And then we've been watching a bunch of movies. We watched, um, The Wedding Singer for the, she saw The Wedding Singer for the first time. What else did we watch? Well, it was yesterday. Oh yeah, It Takes Two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes two. And then we watch The Parent Trap. I kind of like It Takes Two better, though. I was, well, I do. I was showing um, Merrick what uh, Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen look like now. God, they only know Erin Crack. And they look, she said that they look like a hot mess. What did you say? Drug addicts? She said they look like they were on drugs. And I have to agree. No, that's not very nice, by the way. Well, maybe they want to know every fact. Maybe they're like, what's going on in her life? What's she up to? What does she like to watch on TV? You know what? I love that kind of stuff. When I'm watching a video and somebody tells me a story or, you know, talks about their life, I like eat that up. Maybe you don't, Lyric. But I do. Okay, you love I'm not a... So we're going to add some more yellow. Yellow. I love yellow. It's my favorite color. Just yeah, kidding. Right. And we'll add some white type titanium white. Hopefully, okay, mine. Zippity hop. I don't stop. Okay, so we're just going to lighten this green to a light green. And we're going to go over these little dots right here. I want that. Too light. That's too light. I wanted like a, a touch of white and I added way too much white. Way, way, way too much. So we're just gonna like keep in the color. If you guys do this one, then make an eye on me. I think I just turned my No, I'm not. I'm not mean. You <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. You're right, that was kind of mean. You just sound so cute with your little wisp. Stitches. Here has stitches and she's having a hard time talking. Okay. What? That's not me. That's and, uh, me and the Sounds like you're really honest about that. Yeah, I'm holding the left tip over to the right. And... 
I can't wait to see your origami. Will you show everybody your origami when you're done? Thank you. Now we're going to make some of that turquoise again because I want to fix this. Mm. Well, you know what? Maybe we should wait. Wait. We'll wait. We'll wait till we're done with the. Well, nah. Might as well. As long as we got all the colors out there. Oh, we'll Might as well make us some turquoise. But I don't think I want to use mint blush for it. We'll use this guy. Oh, jeepers, creepers. Jeepers, creepers. Oh, so fat little mad. Why am I singing? Make it stop. Okay. Shut up. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, you stop. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Just kidding. I have to cut it. Cut it out. No, 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 no. Sorry, I should do that kind of stuff in this. I need more green. What? Is that too much? That was too much green. That was way too much green. A wah ba 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 Kitty cat, kitty cat, meow, meow, meow. Kitty cat, kitty cat, meow, meow, meow. I wish I was a faster painter. Someday I'm going to be the world's fastest painter, and I'll be able to do this painting in 10 minutes. It'll be awesome. Why do my colors look so muddy? I have no idea. Okay. She walked to the east. She walked to the west. This color is way too dark. I think I need to add some. Oh, I think this is right. And all dark. Okay, I'll just go with it. Way too much on my brush, though. <gasps> <gasps> Not that I excited for be. You need to add some titanium light. What a delight. Oh my god, I'm such a nerd, that's so embarrassing. Sorry, I'm so embarrassing here. Ooh, 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 is that going to be the right color? Sometimes I think that titanium white money is my palette. It makes it like gray and not vibrant. It's a little bit more muddy, pretty high. Derek, what's your favorite joke? You know what my favorite joke is? Nothing. Probably, why did the skeleton... What is that joke? Why did the, why did the, the skeleton, skeleton go to the park. not go no. to the prom? I'm because he had no body to no go body. with. That's what it is, no body. You don't get it? No body? Oh. Like, he didn't have a body because he was a skeleton? I thought there was like another one as well. They're like, why did the skeleton not go? Because had, like, guts or something like that. Oh yeah, that's hilarious. Huh? <laughs> Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? Because he had no guts. Oh my God, you're hilarious. Funniest chick in the world. You just have the best timing too. How do I get this like? Okay, stop it. Cupcake okay, is the most annoying cat. You guys knew my cat. You probably wouldn't like her. <laughs> she just meows constantly. We're lucky right now that she's like not meowing like a psychopath. Because she usually does. So I think we'll let that little turtle dry up and then we'll add our little finishing touch card to him. So right now we're going to work on our little kitty cat. Meow. Oh. Uh, um, we're going to outline her in black so you guys know how to draw her. How? Lily? Come on. I can't, that's going to be really hard to edit that if you like do that kind of stuff. I can't leave that in there. That's racist, yeah. Well, I'll leave that in my video. In my video. Okay, so I actually watched another tutorial on how to make this little kitty cat. I mean, I, I know how to draw a cat, but I want it to be like super cutesy and adorable. 
um, who was it? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to look it up. What is it? Draw So Cute. And it was the, the How to Draw a Kitten. So, well, I guess I didn't really follow her tutorial. I just looked at her picture and then kind of copied it. Um, <laughs> I just thought it was so cute. I was like looking up images of them and I came across that video and I was like, oh, I just, but obviously I'm gonna give her credit if it's her cat. I'm not just gonna copy her and then not say I copied her. So we're gonna start with the head. And so you could watch her tutorial on how to do this if you want, um, and then just draw it with chalk, or you can just follow along with me. Um, you're going to do, mine is a little bit different than hers, it's not exact, um, just, you know what I mean, and you want to make it your own. Uh, you do a circle, but it's almost more like an oval. It's like if you had a circle and you kind of smushed it. Okie dokie, artichoke. You can do this without... Ooh. Okay, don't mind me while I'm doing this. I'm like super quiet because, you know, I can't chew them and walk. So you know what I mean. I have a friend that's super ADD. She has more ADD than me. Lord Jesus, every time I talk to that girl on the phone, if she's doing something, I can't, <laughs> she can't pay attention. And it cracks me up. I mean, she's like cute as fire, I love her to death, but she just really has a hard time. Uh, I'm not going to say. <laughs> she knows who I'm talking about if she's going to watch this. She'll be like, oh, it's me. Does she watch it again? I don't know. Maybe. I hope she would. She's my friend, and all my friends better be watching my videos. Or else, probably the most contact you've had with me in like freaking five years. Just kidding. I'm a homebody. Say it well, well, you know, I just like being with my family. I don't know. Anyway. I mean, I do like getting out and being out with my friends, but I don't know. I love my kids and I love my husband. I love my animals. My head in the way? Hey, you guys, tell me if my head's in the way. Just kidding. My head in the way? Do you know any good cat jokes here? Mom. Mommy. What? Okay. Oh. Ha ha ha. Do you think when it does that, the video blacks out? So now that we got our weird little squishy, um, look at me picking my ear. Isn't that so cute? I, I, I'm so, like, I need a powder. Um, I think we'll do the ears mask. And the ears. If you want to, I'll let you. Sure. I started the first one for you. So we're just going to do two triangles. I'm sure everybody can figure out how to do a triangle. I'm done. Can you show us your situation? If you see those pictures in the background, I did those. No, I didn't. Okay. Make sure we're even, even. Okay. Okay, Mom. You gonna show us? Even? What can you? Oh my gosh! That is the most adorable thing ever. Wouldn't it be so cute if there was a little bunny in there too? And she just. Hi, hello. Oh my god! It's like the tortoise in the hair. <laughs> You're so talented. What? That you're talented? Oh, that means. I'm gonna do the. Thing. Okay, so then we're gonna do another little Oi! triangle inside. <laughs> okay, Kiwi. Both, the, both of these kids just like tell me things are gonna be because we watched that movie. It's true! Hello. Keep doing that. <laughs> that just sounds like that's all watching. Yeah, it sounds like that's all watching, dude. I don't sound like you. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Pretty good. Mm, yeah. That's freaking rude. Okay, so now that we got those little ears, um, we're gonna do. Let's do a little nose. Hey, I'm gonna do ears. Let me do the mouth. You wanna do the mouth? Yep. So we're gonna do a little triangle for the mouth. Like literally, can't even see this, so I'm gonna have to 
They have to be able to see what you're doing. So we're going to make a W. Can you find it? Okay. They can't see you. They can't see the painting. They have to be able to see the painting. So you have to stand it aside. Okay, now they can see. Yep, go ahead. Put your hand on there. Don't press hard. If you press hard, you want to put light pressure. You want to put light pressure, okay? I can't do it. You're going to do it. Because I know you can. You're a wonderful artist. I want you to try it. If you, we can go over it and wipe it and mess it up. Go ahead. This is for a little girl. Do you want me to darken the line? Do you want me to darken the line? Yeah, I can't see it. Okay. We're gonna move the top one. That's it. Take a note. No, you don't do it to the note. Not on this one. Not my girl. You need more paint on it? Just a little bit. No, wipe some of the excess off. There you go. There, there, there. There, 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 there. You don't want to get rid of all of it. No, don't push hard. Push really light. Light as a feather. I the feather. The there you go. Oh, oh, oh. I think I got a fringe. Looks like a mustache. I know it's like a little butt. <gasps> I'm just kidding. Go ahead, finish it. Fine, right, we can fix it up with a little white paint. <laughs> it's okay. We can fix it with a little white paint, Mama. I was touching it. It's funny. It hurts. I was like... You were like... Aah. I like that side. I'm going to leave it. It looks pretty good. Let me go on. My dog's with the in the sun. Gosh darn it. I should not sing on camera. I love that song. Do you guys like the Vine Pen? The Vine Pen. Or used to. I don't know what they're doing now. You guys know what Vine Pens are doing? Comment down below. Comment down below. And get us a million views, please. Okay. Ooh, a million views. <laughs> oh. Give this. I forgot to tell you guys to subscribe. Wow. No, yes, they do. I have 12 subscribers and they're all my friends. They are? <laughs> my sisters. I have like 10 brothers and sisters and I'm sure like 10 of them are probably my siblings. I'm kidding. Well, not 10 brothers and sisters. I am one of 10, I should say. Anyway. You guys are all old and I'm still young. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you actually the oldest? I don't want to be shouting out people that it's so mean. Well, so we're working on the eyes right now. And we're going to do two circles for the eyes. My circle got a little lopsided. It matches uh, with my daughter's lopsided smile. Sure. No, I mean on the painting, not in real life. Oh, because you haven't stood it, you thought I like, meant that. No, I didn't. Can I show my mouth? Yeah, show them your mouth. Not show them the inside of your mouth. Okay. I don't know if you see that. So we're going to draw two matching circles. Okay. Don't touch it because you'll get infected. Mm -hmm. All right, here. Show them. There she goes. Oh. You want me to zoom in? Yeah. Oh, wait, I think I can do this. Okay, now. <laughs> there it is. There's the injury. Yep. Wrong. Running around the house. Nice, nice floor, right? Yeah, right. Right weird. I am. Right. <gasps> oh, 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 I screwed up my circle. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Running around the house. 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 For the like, did you do the highlight? My eye. And she'll be so cute, just like Maggie.
And then we're going to do like the hey, one right here. But actually, I want to wait to do those because I want to fill in um, with white kind of trying to get this line. Well, I guess we can do that on that one. But we can do the little lines. I'm going to add some more to the paint. It's getting dry. I do want dry paint. Well, maybe some people want dry paint, but I don't. <laughs> Like this. And then going down the here. Screw it. Nice leaving. Thank you. So we just want to make a little line across it. I don't really like how those look. I might wipe those out. I definitely might wipe those out. Okay, let's work on body. So we're gonna do another, um, like a, another sort of circle. Cylinder, not a cylinder, don't, don't do a cylinder. So you're gonna want it to curve up and then round like a little ball. We're going to make a happy little tree in this thing. Um, we're going to do a few little pause next. And I'm just going to make two lines right here for now. And then, just so we can make sure they're kind of really safe. I don't know, because I get scared if I just open full on and then they're not uh, really safe. Okay. I'm 
Get the appearance. I'm never gonna get through this thing, honestly. That's little Perry Wingo. Hello, Perry. How are you? I love you so much. Do not buy my face, Perry Wingo. Do not buy my face, Perry. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Perry. I love Perry. Maybe 
a little whiskers. Well, let me switch the side. We'll add her little collar. Let's try. Can we add her little collar now? He's a zero round. Again. Okay, well, 
how many hot sauces you have. I actually have to say one. I asked you one. Yeah, right, you are. I have one ice cream and this is my second hot sauce. Oh, I get another ice cream. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Eli, no, do you want a popsicle? Do you want an icy or a popsicle? I want cake. You want cake? Yeah. Yo, yo, ho, ho, ho. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, look at that little tongue. So not even that. You're fat, that nose. That guy. Okay. So now we're gonna paint in the color. Hi. Can you pop for them? Yeah. So now we are going to uh, paint in our little um color here. Erga. touches. I just outlined everything with uh, black paint. I made the lines a little bit thicker because I just think it looks a little bit better and a little more like pronounced. Uh, so that's the final little guy. I put the little T inside of the heart. If you guys like the painting, um, I hope that uh, you all will follow along with this and please like uh, I'll put the link for my Instagram and my Twitter. And if you guys follow along with this, if you could send me or tag me, like take a picture of it and tag me, I'd love to see if anybody else followed along with this. I really, 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 really appreciate it and love it and 
love to see um, people's final product. Anyway, so I hope you had fun with me. Uh, please subscribe and like this video and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> My daughter's still doing, uh, what do you call it? Origami. Um, anyway, thank you so much. And don't forget, next Monday I will have a new video up. I think um, I'm going to be doing... I think I'm going to be doing a, um, a landscape. It's going to be a little more difficult. This is obviously a basic painting um, that's not going to take you very long. That's pretty simple. Um, my other one, I'm going to probably do a landscape of a city in Italy. Uh, tell me what you guys think about that. And I'll probably have to do that one in a couple different parts. So maybe one week will be one part, the next week will be, you know what I mean? Because it takes me a lot longer to paint than other people who make videos. <laughs> you. This is me? <laughs> I'm a bird? Yeah, a bird. It's oh, a what? horse. It's a what? It's a horse. Oh, look, it's a little horsey. I thought it was a bird. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you guys. Please subscribe and have an awesome day. Hey! I keep looking down. I look at you. I need to look into your soul. Feel your feelings. Is that creepy? What did you do? Nothing. What did you do? <laughs> Stop touching it. It's going to get infected. I'm touching my lips. <sighs>